Okay, what we're going to have here is making a little character. So we've got our basic player movement forward and back. And we've got a camera behind the player. And we're just going to go and work out how to add in the rotation. So when I move on the X axis with the mouse, the character rotates with the camera. So let's have a go at getting that coded. Okay, so our first step is just setting up a level, an environment and a basically player object and with this player object it just has the input system with default inputs on it for forward movement and a look and it's got a character controller and we've just gone and added a camera just behind the player so what we now want to be able to do is go and move and rotate this player. So if we go back and we're going to create a script and we're just going to call this player move and rotate because it's going to describe what we're going to do. So once again using Pascal case and I'm just going to attach that to the prefab. So we can now see that this player prefab now has that script on it. Now I'm just going to open, go and open up our file. Okay, so we need to use the Unity engine and we're just going to use the input system. Now we're going to need a few different variables, so we need to store the rotation of the player. So when we get an X and Y X input on the mouse, we're going to store that. We also need to be able to store the X and Y input for the player movement. We also need a character controller. And we'll just call this CC. Okay, we're going to want a couple of public variables. So we're going to have a public. There's going to be floats, and we're going to have player speed. And let's just set that to five. And we'll have another public float. And we'll call it rotation speed. And let's just set that to well, no, 75. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so. We're Going to start, we need to basically get the character component. So we're going to get component, character controller, and that's going to assign it to the underscore CC variable. Now we want to go and handle our movements. We're just going to make a void on move, and that's going to take an input value. Let's just call that IV. And we're going to store that. In our movement input and we'll do input value dot get and we know that's a vector 2 and now on for rotation we've got an on look function which basically handles that that also takes an input value and we want to rotate but this time we're actually only going to store the X value because we only need to know if we move the mouse left and right. We still need to get it from a vector 2, but we're just going to do vector 2 dot X. So I've now got my move and look. I could put some little debug messages in there just to help me with testing. And I've got my update function and I'm just going to do a few different things. So let's just get a move player. And we're going to run that. So if you've already got one, a character that moves forward and back, you can probably just reuse that. But it's often useful to take this in because we want to 
basically transform and turn the player so that it faces the direction that we want. So we're going to take a vector 3. So we've got a movement, and that's going to be like we've done so many times before. New vector 3. And that will take movement input dot x. Nothing on the y axis. Movement input dot y. And that gets allocated to the z axis. Now we're just going to transform.forward and multiply that by movement.z so that we're basically moving it basically for in relation to the front of the character. So moving it forward and back, so whichever way the character is facing. Then we're going to do the same transform.right. That is going to be movement.x. So we've got those updated. Now we'll update the actual character to move. And we'll take the movement value times time.delta time times our player speed. And finally, we're just going to handle some gravity. Physics. Start gravity times time dot delta time. Okay, so that's going to get our player moving. Let's go and actually just test it. So we shouldn't have any rotation at this point, but we should have our character moving. Yeah, so fall back and we've got our strafe. So that's all we were hoping for at this point. Now we need to handle our rotate. So we'll write a little function here so we can reuse it. Let's just make sure we call it here. So we're going to rotate the player. And this is one line of code transform dot rotate vector three dot up. So it was the up direction. times it by that rotate value that we had earlier. Times it by rotation speed and times time dot delta time. And that will have our character turning left and right. Let's go and check it out and see if it works. got four back left right and if we turn our mouse left and right the character faces that direction and more importantly will move in that direction so you got some nice quick player controls okay thanks for watching uh, remember you're going to probably find a bunch of mistakes as you basically go through and code this fail upwards and, you know, give it all a go.